Right now in 11 parts of the first coast are littered with debris after storms moved through this afternoon. This is a new picture tonight of a lightning strike near Holmes in Callahan and that was just the beginning. Yeah, a local elementary school was likely hit by lightning today. And then you got to check this out. Roofs and signs were ripped off of local stores. A tree even came crashing down right on top of a home. First Coast News Shelby Danielson is live tonight in Ortega. And Shelby, that family where the tree crashed into their home can't sleep there tonight. Unfortunately, yeah, they can't stay inside. I will say the power is back on for most people in their neighborhood, although it's still considered somewhat of a danger zone. You can see power lines are throughout everyone's yards. You can see this tree, though, was really the main center of attention for first responders today. It went through this couple's nursery. They weren't home at the time, but when it comes to damage, they weren't alone. This is video taken inside an Ortega home during Wednesday's storm. It literally looked like they were getting blown sideways. It was crazy. And this is a look after the storm, debris covering the streets. It was like just hail screaming, screeching down on this side. I thought the windows were going to break. Families were out in full force helping each other pick up debris, no matter their size, and just coming over to keep each other company. I was terrified. I just came to see her. Some families were lucky, like Daryl Elskness, with trees falling just inches from his daughter's car. Still, they have to be cautious. You know, unfortunately, our power lines are coming down, and that's the big problem. So. This home received the brunt of the damage. The homeowners tell us the tree fell through their nursery. They're expecting. No one was at home at the time. They do say the home can be saved, but it's not safe to stay in. Crews on scene say the tree that fell was dead. They could instantly tell from the absence of pine needles on the branches. One JEA worker tells us being a local utility helps ensure they have a quick response to emergencies like this. The damage was widespread. In that room, I'll fix your check right now. Test. First Coast News toured the aftermath at Pine Forest Elementary along with first responders. Crews there believe a lightning strike may have sparked an electrical fire in the equipment room, but it's under investigation. Now, the family here says that they have to be solely responsible for this fallen tree. And JEA crews told us that they couldn't start working on it, as well, otherwise the city would be liable. However, we did get a call from a city councilman tonight who believes that this tree was actually on city property. That means that the city would have to reimburse this family. We did reach out to the city, but it was after hours, so we're going to follow up tomorrow for more information. But it's always important to reach out to the city if you do have a dead tree on your property. Reporting live in Ortega, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News on your side.